looking pretty good. Yeah, it's looking very good. Mm -hmm. And then we just get Cut this it. off. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we fare the bottom part of this thing all the way up to maybe, I don't know, 20 centimeters off the edge or something. Mm -hmm. If we can do that today, mm -hmm. that's brilliant. That seems like a good job for today. Yeah, I don't know how to how we'll reach the middle though. I guess the middle doesn't need a lot of fairy. <laughs> yeah. But, um, I don't know. Yeah. We just start and we'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. We'll get it done somehow. And if we have it slightly uneven there in the middle, it's not gonna bother me much. <laughs> That's what you say now. <laughs> I like that we put that thin cloth on top. Yeah, except for here, there's a. Okay, but that way, Sandra, that's, that's, that's easy. And here we have a little bit of a bubble mm -hmm. that we have to remove. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's not perfect, maybe, but this is more than okay. And this is gonna be. I mean, it was stiff before. But now it's even. Now it's even stiffer. Mm -hmm. Okay. That looks pretty good. Yes. Some sanding and fairing. Again. Our filling yesterday went fairly well. Uh, we filled in this uh, channel for a bolt rope. Uh, it was supposed to. The idea was to hold uh, like a shade around the top of the roof, and I do want that. Uh, but I think the construction here wasn't particularly well made. So uh, there was an aluminum channel here with all sorts of cuts and bends in it. It would have been really difficult to uh, pull something through it. Maybe you only have to do that once and then you can like tie the, the shade off with the whatever. Uh, but anyway, I've found a plastic uh, channel that I intended to use and that I think will be smoother. Yeah, you can see what this looks like here so uh, and ideally of course should have cut this aluminum off uh, probably cutting the whole edge off and yeah adding weeks to a project or days that we don't want to add that we can do further down the road sometime right, if we feel the need what we need now is function we need a roof and we need it to be in the right place so today we'll uh, take off all the high spots here uh, smooth this out and we will glass around the edge from the top of the roof to the bottom of the roof and uh, that will be that for the back end of uh, this sunshade, I guess it is.
these uh, windows don't look entirely pretty, do they either? And they don't really need to be. I, I added this fairing yesterday, fairing compound, basically so that I can remove it and get a straight edge. So there's quite a lot more material uh, here than, than I need. So what I can do now is put a straight edge here and uh, route, route these edges to the space that I need, still keeping this surface flat for installing uh, the windows. So that looks the same <laughs> on all three windows on both sides. And uh, yeah, it's not pretty, but it'll, it'll do the job. Any minor filling I have to do after that will be just touch up. So uh, yeah, it was a bit of a pain to get this in here yesterday, mostly because I didn't clean much or clean off the edges. Uh, so the, the old fairing compound I had here for the same purpose was interfering with the new stuff, but it's up there. Uh, it'll work. Okay, this is going to be loud. Yeah, and then we have the seagull striker. So <laughs> this is a fiber reinforced uh, microsphere blend. So this is not structural, but it's uh, the fiber I hope is at least keeping this microspheres uh, in place. So the idea is uh, to shape this uh, nicely and round it off and make it pretty and then we'll put a layer of thin fairing on the whole seagull striker and we're one step further closer, closer to painting the beam. Yeah. 